Mike to the lim- gimmick table where we spit the truth at the infamous round table. I'm low rider. That's Kate Lothbrook. <laughs> you're uh, okay. you're enthused today. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Hey, we're, hey uh, sorry for being uh, 10 minutes late, y'all, but you know. Technical difficulties from yeah, Australia. Yeah, technical difficulties. Uh, you know how it goes, man. We'll, we'll figure this shit out one day, right? Only been doing this shit for a year, but you know. Sorry. Uh, Right. What's up, brother? Nothing, man. How you been? Man, How's Florida? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I'm making it, bro. Making it. Good, man. You know, trying to trying to live the dream. You know, somebody's dream, but you yeah. know, Doing trying to. Yeah, you, you got a cool beard that. right now. You know. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, How's man. everything with you, man? You be having any shows this weekend? Yeah, uh, Excite Wrestling, um, Binghamton, New York. Uh, I got pushed back from the original date due to. Uh, the doctor oh, yeah. having to cancel, so we did it. Oh, really? Yeah, it was um, this Saturday, this past Saturday, Foxy's debut. It was a great show, kick ass. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, man, fun. And then I got nothing uh, this week or got nothing Memorial Day because I don't really want to wrestle on the holidays. And then uh, kick back up in June, got like four or five shows lined up, and they're uh, going to go out there and have fun. Yeah, you know? that's the life right there, man. You, yeah, man. You're, you're, on, you're on some shit right now where you're like, I don't feel like fucking wrestling on this day, dude. People, that, you, know, that's, you know, that's the best way to be, man. Which yeah, you know, you know, it's you know, it's like the messed up thing about it, man. Is like I'll tell people, like, yeah, man, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm okay not being busy, and some people are like, oh, it's because you're not booked. It's like, no, I just, I, I, mm. I, I, I like what I have, man. This is, you know, I, I get to sit here, play video games, watch movies, hang out, go to the gym. Like, I don't need to be on the road. I, I've done that shit, like just like you, man. You know, since I was like 17, I don't, I don't have yeah. uh, that itch to like. Drive miles for barely any money. I got a family, especially with get fucking gas prices, right, dude? <laughs> no, look, shout out to uh, Brooke Danielle, man. Her her dad has got. Oh, I, thought, a I gas... thought you were gonna say shout out to Joe Biden. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, her her dad has the uh, the old gas card gimmick and hooks her up. So you know, I, gas was covered, so I can't complain. But sweet, the amount of gas sweet. we, yeah, dude. I think I I yeah, filled up. Dickinson's a ride, right? Dude, I filled up three times. One, one from getting from my well, not filled up, but I put gas in my car from my house to her house in Westchester. And then when we, I got in the car with her, we got in my car. I filled up um, as after I got Foxy, so that was like I think it was like sixty bucks. I put I put thirty in, and then it was like another sixty dollars. So it was like one hundred fifty bucks round trip, dude. Insane, Fuck, bro. bro insane Fuck. so yeah, it, it's it's gotta be rough man like especially for like the dudes just breaking in that are making you know the, $20, the 25 dollar payday <laughs> you're definitely not making dude you gotta you gotta get a car you, you know think about it man if you're gonna do like let's say like new york to middle pennsylvania you know probably a tank and a half Right. If you even get a carload of guys all making 40, 50 bucks, you're not after eating. You're lucky right now to get walk out of there with five bucks. You know, it sucks. And promoters don't want to understand that. And I get I get it from a promoter. They expect, you know, you can't jack up a ticket price because everything else is jacked. So, like, you know, this is this is this is where the the real workers, the guys that really want to come out. It's a it's a rough game right now, bro. Yeah. Rough game right now. Part of the hustle, man. You got to get that merch money. I, I I just like for me, man. Like my car runs on premium. Like there ain't no way I'd be driving to a far show, bro. 
I, I feel like I'm living you one for gas. You know what I'm saying? No, it, it hit five dollars where I live. It's five oh yeah. five for regular. Four ninety one for premium out here. Yeah. So, I feel yeah. like uh I live in California. Regular. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, man. Hopefully, hey, let, let's get these bills paid, bro. You so we can it, we can get our guest on, man. You know, I don't want this yeah. guy. He may get lost in the background over there. You know, <laughs> he's, he's out there sewing. He's good. <laughs> sleeves, sleeves offer quality products from arm sleeves, knee sleeves, headbands, tights, joggers, socks. They got them dirty boxers. So if you or someone in your life is an athlete, you definitely need to check out Sleeves, man. Check out Sleeves.com. And don't forget to use that promo code, NWA Pod. Get your discount. I feel like Spider can make some shit like that, though. You know. <laughs> but like especially it. the dick sleeve. But Oh, know. yeah. <laughs> Hellvape.com. Hellvape sells healthy vaping alternatives. All their products are nicotine-free. And they have uh, no harm for addictive chemicals, so make sure you pick yourself up some of their vapor pod products using our code MWA Pod for that ten percent discount. All right, man. Oh, hold on, we got a couple comments here. We got a net in the building. What's going on, Net? How you doing? Good to see What's you. Going on? Work so she can watch. Well, we appreciate it. As always, we got Piers Austin in the building. Uh, yeah, I, I can only imagine how, how much, it, I don't know what the, the gas is down there, but yeah, some shows that cost more money to get to the show than what the pay is. Yeah, man, I can only imagine, dude, like, I remember driving out to like Hazleton and stuff and it was like, you know, me, my brother Guapo, yeah. A-Mill and this giant ass van that Guapo yeah. had and man, you know. Shout out to Guap, man, because that dude would never ask for bread, but, you know. Bro, it, <laughs> you know, I, it's just, I yeah, can't, I, 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 don't even, I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into a political thing, so. Exactly, just, exactly. You know, I got, you Let's know, go Brandon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nigel, N- Nigel says, uh, let's go. Yeah, I'm with you, brother. All right, let's bring our guest on, man. This guy's uh NYWC uh, legend. Legend, yeah, yeah. Legend. Uh, gear, gear maker making extraordinaire, extra- yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> gear maker extraordinaire. What's up, Spider Man? There he is. It was good. It was good, guys. The, the wanker. What you got there? You got a bunch of Funko Pops behind your head? That's uh, all Marvel Funko Pops I have. Okay, okay. All, all Marvel, man. Look at you. I know that. Never, uh, never grown yeah. up. Yeah, never grown up. I love uh, it. Oh, hey. Shit, you guys too. You guys got a shitload behind you too. <laughs> it's Stop, a green, you hook me, a green Stop. screen. Yo, you hooked me up with some of the, the, the Funko Pops too, man. I know, so but I, 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 uh, I had a problem with those fucking things for a while, man. I've, I've calmed down. I've calmed down. Oh, you know? my God. You get a, you get a shit step, is... son, it shit changes. My, my, one of my homeboys is... got a got a, a business uh, flipping those Funkos. Dude, it's it's yeah, mad money, my, bro. My boy Cardigan Black. So shout out Damn. to him, man. And I can't I can't rem- I can't remember what the the gimmick is on IG that he that he flips them. But you know, bro, they I listen, man. They, they, I can they remember, just, I'll, t- I'll, fl- I'll I'll throw it out there later. They just released the new Jurassic Park Dominion ones, and I'm like sitting here like a fucking crack addict, like, like fuck looking up. like. I'm like I need, to find I, them. I need I need I need some of these dinosaurs, man. I'm like trying to try not to go crazy here, but and then I got yeah. Thor Eleven Thor Eleven Thunders coming out, man. They're, they're fucking oh, sending me God. alerts. I'm like, fuck, man. I I gotta get you know, I ain't yeah, get the I got, money for this shit anymore. I got Batman Good. and uh, GI Joe, Yankee stuff, Ray Mysterio oh, got- up top, you know. Oh, uh, you got the good shit too, man. Assassin's Creed, you know. Yeah, oh, I, got all, I got all my Marvel Legends uh, right behind me. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really. You know, it's funny is I don't, I don't think I got anything Marvel, bro. I got pretty it's much. Uh, I got all those. Damn, Marvel not even movies. a Deadpool character, man. You know, I, I'm not a big Deadpool <laughs> guy, man. What? Honestly, my my Marvel my Marvel dudes were were always Thor. Thor was like one of my all time favorite right. Marvel characters. Um. Ah, uh, fuck. Who else? Uh, well, I was never Wolverine's really a big guy. Wolverine's gotta be on. Well, yeah, Wolverine gotta be on that. I was always shit. a Gambit guy. More. Okay, than fair enough. Wow. Yeah. All right. I love. I like Cyclops right. and and Gambit. 
Oh, Nobody man, likes Cyclops. Like, what the fuck? I did, bro. Cyclops <laughs> you're good. like the only you're the only Cyclops fan. <laughs> the they made one shirt just for you with Cyclops the on the it. The motherfucking <laughs> lasers coming out of his fucking eyes, bro. Yeah, he like, was the fucking. Yeah, I, he was a boring ass one, dude. He was like Mr. Fucking uh, <laughs> Teacher's Pet. Yo, man. yo, I gotta give it the the Age of Apocalypse Cyclops. It was the sickest one. Like, that yeah. shit was yeah. badass. I like yeah. that one, man. Nobody likes Cyclops. That was, Wolverine is banging his girl on the no, side. No, He's sitting there. Wolverine was the dude, though, man. But of course, you know. You know For <laughs> but me, uh, I was a Gambit guy because Gambit was like that dude had game, bro. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's, he's a gambler, so yeah, yeah of course. Game, he, he was always trying to always trying to hit on all the chicks, you know. That's all he did, man. That's all he did. Oh my god, that is definitely it. But uh, but yeah, yeah man, it's it's, it's been a while, dude. I haven't bro. I haven't seen you. Uh, I know I mean, we've talked, but I haven't seen you in person, and uh, you haven't aged. It's amazing. Oh yeah, my real, god, bro. man, Joe, it's amazing. Still like I, yeah. as you were, uh, like. <laughs> 18 years ago, probably. Yeah, but I don't got the crazy looking uh, beard anymore right now. Like you got, I usually you gotta do. Be professional now. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't have to. Trust me. Like I, I put whatever on my face, and kids yeah, just like, oh, me. that is so cool. And I'm like, yeah, all right, get on. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> Parents are like, are you the bus driver? I'm like, yeah. They're like, you you a oh. bus driver? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> school bus driver. No way! Oh, he's yeah. all fucking, uh, he's yeah. like Chris Farley from fucking uh, Billy Madison. Oh my <laughs> god! He, eating, the, eating the kids' lunches, yelling at them. <laughs> no, man, I don't do that. Oh yeah, lord, you please! You can't man. do that, man. Oh no, man, not, I do not, not want to get. There'd be, yeah, there'd be exactly. cell phone footage. They'd be like, <laughs> NYWC. <laughs> no, these little, now, now, and now these, these little bastards got like uh, like iPhone. They want to videotape yeah, everything nowadays. They be recording everything, man. So you can't do shit on the bus anyway. So I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Can't uh, even say yeah, yeah. it. Back can't in the even day, curse you wanted to slap the hell out of somebody. And <laughs> amazing. Now, you you got to be professional and... Oh my God! You but, uh, can't but, but, tell anybody to eat a dick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you can't be calling kids wankers, man. You got to be careful. I uh, know. I can't say nothing like that, man. I gotta be nice, calm, and cool, relaxed on the damn bus, man. But it's uh, all good. But yeah, man. So, like, you know, we like to just shoot the shit, talk, you know, your journey in professional wrestling and this crazy business that we all love to hate. Um, oh my and, God! And, and love to be a part of. But what, um, what year did you get started? Yeah. Started? Where did it all start? Take us back. Oh my and god! I think it was two thousand and two. Okay. And it was in uh wow. yeah man, and it was in the uh, the old school uh NYWC when it was called Critical Mass. Okay. In uh in Hicksville in a garage. Oh my god, man! When well, they, <laughs> when they, I walked they, they to... went from a garage to a double garage. They, yeah, uh, exactly. They they, they they evolved. Yeah, but they, they don't have the plastic bags like they did in the garage. Now it's all black in the background. <laughs> so, box, but... Oh my god, is it man? Jesus Christ. It is but, so uh, hot. How'd man. you find how'd you find it? Like what what you know, online, yeah. stumble across it, a show? No, uh this guy this guy with the school with uh he knew me for a long time and he knew I was uh, really yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> and and he was he knew that like I was a really good baseball player in uh, school, and I did um I did football, I did baseball, I did wrestling, and I did soccer for like one or two years. So, like I, I like I didn't want it. Soccer. Yeah, everyone's gonna say like, oh, you did Mex Mexican sport? Like, no, 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 no. Let's get this right. I just did it for one year. I didn't like that damn running and stuff. I wasn't no Mita. I wasn't no Poppy. <laughs> and, all right, no wet back. Like that wasn't oh, me. Man. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> no. but, but but anyway, the the guy I knew his name was uh his name was um his name was Armand, and he saw me one day. He's like, "Oh, like yo, what's up, Joe? How you doing? Like, oh, what's up? It's been a long time. Been a long time since I've seen you." He's like, "Yeah, like I know you really was athletic in school, and I was wondering if you want to come down to the wrestling school and, and check it out." And I'm like. I'm like yeah, sure. Like I said, like not a problem. Like like let me just see how it is. So I I went down and I walked into the door and I'm like, I was like, oh my god, this is some backyard shit. That's all I thought. I was like sitting there looking around. I was like, 
I was like, I was like, what the hell is all this shit right here? And when I said that, that's when when I met Curse, I met um, oh god, Brimstone, and uh, Mike Mayhem, uh, the original Mike Mayhem, not uh, not uh, Donovan. And uh, when I, I when I met I them, I don't know which one is which. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I, just know, me, everyone... I just know the one that that used to come to the doghouse, you know, and that's, yeah, that's, the, yeah. One. that's the original one. Yeah, yeah. it was the original oh, one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh... <laughs> and and when I when I walked through the door, it was, it was it was it was it was cool. I was like, like, oh damn, this looks like a lot of fun. And curse, we call it, talk to me. He's like, hey, how you doing? Like, uh, it look really nice and good shape. Like, do you want to start training? Do you want to wrestle? I was like, no, I just want to see how what you guys are about. Like, just look around. So next year, I just saw their first um, show that was in there, and oh my god, man! I talk about talk about buying stuff at uh, Utopia and Hot Topics. I, I was just like, what the hell is this? And and the only people that actually looked professional was Pat Buck, and I forgot who the other guy was. There was another guy there. And they actually had trunks. They had gear. I was like, well, "Oh, okay." Curse, curse wore the little speedos, didn't he? Or, or yeah, was he, he not he, rocking them little speedos back then. The boom booms. He he did. Yeah, he he rocked those <laughs> trunks. But I, it was just funny watching because I'm like, like, "Oh my god, man!" This is like a grown ass man in trunks uh, talking on the mic and just <laughs> just do the whole show on there. So I was just like, "All right." So I was like, like this looks cool. This looks fun. Like, well, I'm like I'm done from everything else, and I ain't really got that much stuff to do. And it looked like a fun, we call it, thing to get into. So next, so I just now, told Chris, like, you, what did you love wrestling as a kid, or you just decided that you wanted to go fucking check it out? Oh, I, I yeah, I loved wrestling when I was a kid because I used to just love watching like you know Tito Santana, Andre Giant. I was like, like I was like, like Dynamite Kid was my shit, man. When I used to watch his stuff, I'm like, wow. Even I used to love watching Triple A, Triple A. Like okay. some of those guys that were well, on there, like you got fucking amazing. What you got, the Triple A? Like you got like to watch it up there, or is it like Telemundo? No, it's Telemundo. Oh, okay. it was like sure. it was it was it was on Univision, and oh, my sure. mom was watching. Yeah, she was like, like, what are you watching? I was like, like I'm just watching Lucha Wrestling, and she's like, nah, why are you That's watching awesome. for like? She was like, like, oh, what are you doing? Why are you watching that? It's like guys in tights just running around underwears. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, mom, you exaggerated. Like, oh, this is cool. Like, I, I was like watching it, got hooked on it. And... That's crazy because, like, usually, like, uh, Latin households, man, like, Luke Lu- is like a say, big man, deal. Like, my, my, in my house, man, like, my grandfather loved wrestling. My, my mom, my mom used to go watch wrestling at the garden back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like when me and my brother got into it, my pops liked wrestling, you know what I'm saying? I remember my pops taking me and my brother when we were little kids, you know, to the garden and, and stuff like that. So it's kind of oh crazy. My, my brother wants to know why your brother didn't wrestle with you. Oh my God. You know why? Because this dude was in karate. This dude, uh, my, my brother, me and my brother went to karate school together. And I was like, yo, this is not for me. I was going, kicking the belt, like, Kia! Cut the board. I'm like, all right, like, yeah, all right, that's great. I was like, I was like, sitting there like, I can't do this shit no more. So I told my brother, like, I'm out. You can stick to karate. Yo, the funny thing is, my brother stuck with karate so much he's a brown belt. Nice. And the the funny thing is, I kick his ass still. Oh, <laughs> my hey, brother's man. a brown belt, and he, he, I laugh. I'm like, yo, you can do all your kicking you want. But like, if I grab your ass and throw you the fuck down, you're not going to get me. That, that, like, that, that's the big let me thing try that. karate, man. Karate, I, like, it's good with, if you can stay standing. But if you exactly. get in there with somebody no, that can no grapple. Grappling, no grappling. Uh, uh, if you're down, hey, By you're the down, way, man. did you see this comment? You're a shitty softball player. Oh, that's that's horrible, man. Why are you going to talk shit, man? Like, yo, I remember the tape we used to play at the uh, on the blacktop, man. Yo, y'all were crazy, man. Yo, yeah. yo, yo Ryder, a Boogie, a fucking Guapo, man. Like, yo, I don't know. The team you be playing on, man. You know, that, was a, that was a rough team, bro. Oh my god, team, yo! I can't believe the dudes who used to dive on the damn oh, concrete yeah. floor for the balls. I'd be like, no, nah, that's all right. I so need my, my skin. homeboy, bro. my homeboy, <laughs> my homeboy that was out there in center field. My man Al, that dude was slaying oh, and, and everything. God, man. That, that dude was crazy, bro. 
Fuck. Yo, the, the the worst was that one guy who got up from sliding on his leg, and you saw his whole leg ripped off. I was like, nah, like I y'all bugging, <laughs> man. I I know it's a money league, but I am not like diving or jumping or ripping my skin off like they did, man. They were insane. Uh uh-uh. uh, yeah, man, <laughs> that was crazy, man. Crazy, so uh, crazy shit, man. <laughs> so you, you eventually joined NYWC, right? You start training. Yeah. So who was in like who was the, like the class of you guys? Like what was your class? Oh my the class I was in was uh uh Brock Vendetta, Jamie Jamie Silver, uh Jamie Pat Silver. Buck. He he was uh, uh uh best friends with Pat Buck. He he was oh, like okay. he was the Jewish Soros. He he has he has Oh okay, okay. What you met him? He was a big dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh who no, else? That, it was my brother said the ABL, remember? We were <laughs> the all brother. Oh lead. my god. Yeah, we were the we were the only team that that had <laughs> He's thinking on how to say it without I'm trying, being I'm trying to think. He's... I'm trying to think of... no, no, no. I'm trying to I, I think I want to say there was pro who what we have probably like two brothers on our team. Everybody yeah. else was like every other team had ninety eight percent brothers. Oh my god! <laughs> you know we had we god. had to, they, they were all like oh you guys got the Miga Miga team. <laughs> <laughs> like we we had some white boys with us. My man James oh my god. With some yeah with some, some slip on van looking gimmicks. <laughs> I, I I don't know how the hell he played with those, man. Like I used to sit there, like, "Yo, you gonna crack your ankles, man?" I'm like, Bro, what are you doing? Crazy, crazy like, shit, oh man, my god, shit. that was no, that was fun though. So, no, like going fun, out with you guys, fun. man. Oh my god, man. Yeah, that, that was the crazy. best part was after the games because we were getting smirked, smoked out there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yo, but, that yeah, was, was good, good times though. Good times though. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, yeah, back to wrestling. Yeah, yeah, back to yeah. Wrestling. <laughs> what the people came here for, god damn it. Um, yeah, so yeah, man, so you're training at YWC. So, what it's was nice. uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, no, nobody came here to listen to us about wrestling. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what was like, what was the first match? Like, what when did uh, when did Spider? Oh like, my god, when did the whole I, yeah, so, so when you first about? started, did you, did you already have your gimmick name? Like, I, I want to be called the Spider. With a Y, no, or, or were you, or were you? The funny like thing, Juan Valdez. No, 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 no. The funny thing is that, like, they gave the name just popped up because every time I used to come train, everyone saw me with the Spider Man shirt on. So every time they saw, it, they're like, "Yo, let's just call you Spider with a Y." I was like, "All right, fine, let's go with me. I don't mind it. It sounds cool." That's and then it got it stuck on me. Anyway. Oh my god, no, I know it wasn't spelled like that. <laughs> no, I'm spelling that. And, and then they wanted to add on, they wanted to call me Spider Rico. I was like, no, don't don't give me that damn uh, Rocky shit. I don't want that. And they're like, why? It's perfect for you. Like, yeah, I was like, like yo, I'm, I know I'm Spanish, but damn, don't put that on the end of it. Like, at least That's pick something else. Thank, thank god that did not. That is awful, dude. That was Spider Rico. Man. My god. I, I was like, I was like, sit there, like, nah, man, like, I, like, Spider's cool. After that, that it just got stuck with me for the for the rest of the, the, the time I've been wrestling, and I, like I, I love it. Like it just my character. Like it was so funny when I brought it up to somebody and I told them that I I remember like there was only a couple of Cuban wrestlers, and I was like sitting there trying to tell them a storyline so I could have my 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 gimmick. So they're like, "What is it?" Like, "Oh, well, Spider is the guy who got deported over here from from Cuba." And he tried to make it make it big on the baseball scene, but couldn't. But saw something on TV where it was wrestling, and figured like, oh, if I can't play baseball, I could wrestle and still be in the limelight. And that was the, that's how Spider got we call that, him, born. That was, your, uh, <laughs> that, that was the racist way they brought you in. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically that's what happened, man. man so that's, that's what. That's what... <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh my god! So. You gotta love it. So yeah, man. So what was the first match? Like, who did uh, who did Spider debut against? Oh, uh, my first match was a three way match with Dan Barry and um, JD JD Licious. Okay. JD Licious. Oh my God! It was it was a young kid back in the day. He used to come out with um. Oh, Jesus, I forgot what was I forgot his name. It was 
it was some some kid that used to be in the company. But uh, it was a three way match, and it was cool. And the the thing about it, that match, I had I I didn't know what to wear, so I just had a a coverall that I just brought, and it was a pure player coverall. And next to I just ripped everything off and put it on. I didn't even think about the SAT till somebody came and said that, yo, you look like one of the SAT guys. I was like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, wait, who the hell are the SAT again? So I looked it up. And I was like, oh damn, man, great. Now I mean, compared to these guys, like I like, I was like, they they, they were good, but I was were like, they, trying to. Were they wearing the co- the coveralls? Before Louis and Homicide or after? No, I think they were after. doing it after, Louis, right? So, yeah. so, so Boogie and D were the ones that kind of brought that to the forefront, like really. Okay. All right. Like, I, I, haven't seen, I, I always like saw them before. That's why, I, like, whenever I saw you guys, I like when later on when you had the um, the knuckle dusters and Guapo was like telling me like, oh like, yeah, like we had it before them. And I was like, really? I like I didn't know that. I was like, that's news to me. He was like, I was surprised because Joel and, and Jose, they're like, nah, man, no, nah, we brought it out. I'm like, dude, I'm not comparing clothes, man. I'm like, I don't care who came out with it. I'm like, I just wanted to come out with this because I needed something to wear. So I didn't have no kick pads. I just had um, wrestling shoes on and some knee pads, elbow pads. And the curse just said, like, like go ahead, just, just do whatever you guys want to do. And me, uh, me, Dan Barry, and JD Delicious just went three way match, just doing whatever, and it was insane. Cause Dan Barry, <laughs> I love Dan Barry because he is such a smart ass when you're in the ring with him. Cause he always wanted to talk shit when he wrestles you, and he did these yes, fucking, he fucking yeah. spots. He did a spot where he's running. I, I fell in a corner. I was on the turnbuckle, and then he ran, act like it was oh, the corner was wet, and slipped and hit my nuts. It was a, oh, 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 there was a wet spot there. And I'm looking at Dan like this, like trying not to laugh at break character. And Dan's like, oh, yeah, take that, you spick. I was like, like, oh, my God, I want to punch you in the face, Dan. And he started laughing like, Spider, don't worry about it. Just stay in the corner. And then him and JD Licious was just doing whatever spots. And I was just doing some lucha stuff with Dan. And then so we were getting close to the ending. And the match went on for a while. We didn't even know it, it was like 30 minutes until somebody came out and the referee was like, all right, you got to cut it, cut it. Oh, wow, so next 30 so, minutes. Goddamn, dude. Yeah, and we weren't even paying attention. We were just going at Having it because the dude. match was, yeah, the match was like like so cool and everyone was into it. And I think it was Dan finished it with the roller coaster of death. And I just got kicked out. And then Dan Penn, what's the name, J.D. Licious, and that was the match. Came nice. to the back, came to the back and they were actually I got all the guys like surprised. They're like, wow. I was like, what happened? They're like, like you're you're six something and you were doing all these cool spots and lucha stuff like you're like a buck something. I was like, no, I just like watching uh, lucha and I just like the spots they did. It just got stuck to my head and that's what I wanted to do. Goddamn spot and- monkey. Yeah, I know. It was a spot monkey. And, <laughs> and like, but it was so, it was like so cool because just experience that whole thing. I was like, now I see what a lot of people say. Like, it's, it's like, um, what is it? It's like a dance. Like, you have to put all the things in the right places. If not, it, you just go out there and just shit the bed. It's going to look so bad. And everyone's going to know it. Yeah, but no. What we do, it was like, just, it was, it felt like second nature to me. Like, I got in there with the ring, I got comfortable with the guys. Came back and it was like that was cool what you guys did like it was nice and then that's when I did the spring before spring before fifty and everyone popped I was like oh shit like like oh all right cool I was like I guess I'm gonna do this from now on and there then everyone go. said like you ever did it before I was like no that was my first time doing the spring before four fifty <laughs> Jesus and, dude and Thir- everyone thirty like, minute first match springboard four fifties what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And then, and then oh, after yeah. that, and then after that, like it just like uh, like after that, it was just soon it was just my my finisher, the Springboard 450. And then after so, that, other stuff was going on. Yeah, so like you know, I know you you basically were an NYWC like the NYWC guy, like a stalwart there. A lot of you guys were, but um, what when did you start making gear? Like when was that? When did, yeah, what the hell made the, you start yeah. doing that? Oh like, my how god! How did you decide to do that? <laughs> when. 
when I brought my first pair of gear on high spots and I just looked at these tights and I was like, these, like these fuck man, shit. this Yeah, and I'm like like I, and I, I felt so much. <laughs> I paid. I saw it online. Like I brought, I went to Models. I brought a singlet that was like, like what, like thirty bucks. And then I brought the tights from High Spots, and the 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 long tights were like forty or fifty bucks. Put it on, and I'm like wrestling with these things, and I'm like, I felt so uncomfortable because this was not me. It's light as hell, Mega, and I'm sitting up, like, bro? I, hey, what's up, Mega Man? And, uh, and it was. It, it was just so crazy. And then next time I said to myself, like, yo, like, I, I can't wear these things. I got to make my own pair of gear. But the thing about it was, the funny the funny thing about it was Jim, that. Jim, how you doing, brother? Sorry. Oh, man. hey, what's Sorry up, Jim? These, <laughs> get, these, get back to these comments because uh, I'm sure yeah, I'm missing. We're, we're, we're getting blown up here with comments. Yeah, man. <laughs> Spider gets on. Hey, Look at a this. A year later, what, Spider oh, gets yeah. on. Finally getting what made you start taking measurements with the hanger, though? With the hanger? No, yeah. it wasn't even with a hanger. Bro, the, the funny thing you, is took, like, you I, took me and Louis' measurements with a hanger, bro. You're like, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably like two hangers. And I was like, two hangers? What the fuck is this dude bro, talking about? Bro, Ryder, you was a skinny-ass dude back then, <laughs> man. Bro, I was like, the, Yo. the length of my shorts, you you, you were... Oh, like, oh, oh, hangers. yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is this dude talking about, two hangers? I, I tried to put, do... He put a hanger next to my on my hip. <laughs> <laughs> I one, forgot about that. One size fits spider, bro. That that's what it is, man. Yeah, I for forgot real. about that time I did that. I it was just like a quick measurement I was trying to do for you guys, man. Look at that, but Damian, like, Damian Dragon in the building. He says he needs to be wow. in person. Putting it out there now, Spider is definitely one of my favorites. I got to work with a full program. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Damian, Damian yeah. was great, man. Especially the the cycle circus with him. Oh my god, that was fun. I, I, I like it was actually the, if I have ever been in cycle circus, like, yeah, I was. I'm like, why are you not in anymore? I'm like, am I the booker? I'm like, like, don't ask me. I'm like, I don't know you see from the well, start. That's, that's some that's because some asshole decided to turn it into more of a deathmatch stuff, and a lot um, of guys, uh, yeah, I wonder who that was. <laughs> yeah, <It wasn't> me. <laughs> don't blame me. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Four, five, fifth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man so like, what, like did you make stuff prior or like did you were just like fuck it i can make better gear than this like what what got no, you you're like can do all these because like, you've always been artistic the, the fucking designs yeah you know, what yeah you know. the you know the designs were were like from me freestyle on a piece of paper and just now i got like 20 times better with all the designs and just making up shit it just and, takes two years to get, or fucking oh God. 18, 18 years to get gear. <laughs> yes, I know. It, it takes time, you know. Hey, look, Rome, I'll say this. Rome wasn't built in a day, and a I'll Spanish person is in charge of it, all right? I've never, I've, <laughs> Spider has made me plenty of gear, and I, I've always gotten it in a timely fashion, so I'll say the, that. The, the first gear that Spider made us, I think we got it probably like maybe a month. Ooh, the it second was, uh, gear. The, the black, the black, uh, shiny shorts with the yeah, uh, the second yeah. pair, which was like I think the white ones that we did. I think we waited like four months. Then the then the oh black God. and red ones. I think we waited. Like Those would took a long. That, yo, and you then, have no idea. Remember my lunatic takes. gear, bro. My lunatic. Oh gear, my God! I, I I was stop. I stopped wrestling for like four years before I finally got my fucking lunatic cape, bro. Yeah, but but Spider had a fresh new single at every show. <laughs> I, I was trying to copy Ray Mysterio. You know, he looked good every every time he came out to wrestle. Uh, like, he always had new gear too. That's like, right, you man. know, like bopped up. I mean, I, it had to have been the best thing for you though, but being in a wrestling school that would just constantly produce students. Everyone's going to need gear and new gear, so. I mean, dude, that had to have, like, kept you busy, at least cash flow for a while. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I was, like, mostly honest with most of the guys, too, man. I, I really didn't. It wasn't about the money, but also quality stuff I used to make. I used to feel bad because guys would wear gear that fall apart or disintegrate like, and, and just look like shit. And I, I was, like, telling them, like, why you, how much you paid for that? They're like two hundred dollars, or I'm like Jesus Christ! Like you should have came to me from the start. They're like, 
yeah, but you wanted this price or this, that. But like I tell everybody all the time, like, yo, at least I'm honest. Like, I'll give you my address, I'll give you my phone number. You could find me. It's not like I'm trying to hide. Yeah, no, like I said, dude, I, I've had plenty of gear made by you. Um, they never had an issue. I know this, the, the running joke. But I mean, dude, I mean, like, list the names of guys you made gear for because there's a lot of top notch, you know, guy, guys that are on TV that you've made gear for, right? Oh, my God. I made, I made one uh, outfit, two outfits for, uh, Zack Ryder, aka uh, Matt uh, Matt Cardona, well, he had the Ultimate Warrior one I made for him, and they made a toy after it, and oh, that's, that's awesome. I was like so happy when I saw that. I was like, holy shit, hey, I made that. That's awesome. I was like, that was cool. And then the other one was the the half half leg and the half short ones I made for him, and those were the, the other two he made. That's the only two I made for him. And then who else? I made some gear. I made some for Big O. I made some for I made one a pair of shorts for uh, Homicide, and uh, I, I was like laughing because Guapo got to me. He's like, "Bro, you know what you put in the back?" I was like, "What I do? I'm like, ain't that what you want?" He's like, "No, that's not what it was supposed to be on the back." I was like, "Oh damn, man!" Did you play, like, it's like the wrong number or some shit? What did you do? No, it was the, it was uh, it said MBS on there. And I was like, MBS, like, that's not what you wanted? He's like, no, it's supposed to be natural born sinner, not M- mean <laughs> mean born sinner. And I was like, oh, oh my M- God. Yeah. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I thought you said Ed. But uh, like, he was like, my God, but he, spider. but Damien said but, he uh, still got expired again. It's still intact. Wow. And that's uh, amazing. My brother said your, peers, your pieces were always better than everyone else's. <laughs> hey, you know what, though, man? Honestly, like, at least you weren't banging anybody in the head, you know. No, oh, dude, his prices were fair. Your prices tough. were were very, very fucking affordable for for your broke ass indie wrestlers. You know? you're, still <laughs> making, you're still making gear, right? Yeah, I'm still making it, and and I I tell everybody time like yo like you want to get that lucha style shit with the shiny shit on it. I was like, go ahead and buy it, but yo, it's gonna fall apart when you wrestle two shows. That, They're like, nah, the- nah, nah. The shit, that, the shorts that you made, bro, for us, the the first set, we I about two years ago, they they finally started coming apart. Holy shit, two years, damn, two years what? ago, bro, and you made those what, like, oh five, maybe, oh four, oh five, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe oh six shit. at the latest, but oh I think, I, and I think what fucked them up was the Florida heat. You know what I'm saying? Because they they're sitting in this fucking hot ass hot sun, yeah. Closet, That's... you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> and 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 the funny thing, I was, I, was, I tell people all the time, so yeah, like yo, like I I make gear for guys, and like I, I thought about myself, like yo, do I want to go somebody who's gonna rip me off, or somebody who's gonna actually be honest with me? And I thought about it when I used to buy when I used to buy gear on high spots or some of these other websites. I'm like, how much is that? That shit looks horrible. And it's lightweight. I'm like, I don't want to wear that shit and rip in a fucking ring. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, that looks so bad. And I feel bad so for some of these indie guys who they all have the same damn gear. I tell them all the time, like, yo, experiment, man. Stop wearing fucking black. Or like, you go look like generic wrestler number three. Stop wearing the same damn thing over and over. Or like, expand your riser. Wear a different color. Stand the fuck out, man. Or like, do you want to look like every bojo on the damn circuit? And, and they were like, like the, the lunatic tights that you made for me were fucking fire. The, oh the my god, red, white, and green joints with the flame on the leg and everything. That yo, those fire, bro. Yo, those were the when I made those for you, Boogie, and Guap. And Guap. Yeah, I, yeah. I sat there, like, yo, I took my time at Guap. Was like, yo, man, you gotta hook it up, brother. Like, come on, Spider. Like, I know you, man, you do good. shit. And I was like, like, like damn, Eddie, you beat me in the head with this, shit, aren't you? Like, like, come on, man! Like, I know you, man. You could do it, Spider. I was like, because I, I remember I drew, I drew the shit, I gave it to you, and you're like, bro, I can, I can do that, I can do that. I'm like, all right, yeah. And you're like, yeah. You mind if I do? If I, if I, if I make a little, if I, you know, touch it up? I'm like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Look, and, look, I still, I still got it. Oh, look, no, there it is. The I still original. got your shit. I yeah, still got man. it. That That's was awesome. on, that was on the chess piece of Louis. Uh, yeah, top, man. yo, when you guys gave me stuff like yo, like I used to love making stuff for you guys because sometimes you just like spider, can you do this? I'm like, damn, man, you just up in the bar for me, aren't you? They're like, you could do it. We like, we believe you. Like that was my my stepbrother drew that up. For yeah, us. 
and yeah. uh, and remember, I, you remember when he used to come to the shows and shit with us? He was like, "Oh man, yeah, I could draw some shit for people." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, man, Spider's gonna have to fucking cut all these little points and all these little. <laughs> no, but I, yo, I did it. I, I told no, you, like, all right, no, yeah, yeah, dude, you made some, dude. My favorite uh, piece of gear you ever had. Was that fucking those Venom tights, dude? That that Yo. Venom, that oh thing was on God. point, dude. Almost all your singlets, the way that you fucking always had, like, your spider logo on it, always looked fucking fire. Yeah. Like, I remember the, the Cuban ones that you had. Oh, those were my With favorite ones, man. Gimmick. Man, that, that yeah. shit was fire, man. That like, was Louis, my Louis, favorite Louis one, said, man. make some more shit for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just let me know when you guys want, man. If you guys back in it, like I'll make you guys anything, man. So, oh like, shit, my bad. I, I I read this. I read this wrong. I thought my brother said that your pieces were better than everybody else's, but he said your prices. My bad. Oh, so, so yeah. You so, know, I'm 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 half brain dead, man. So, yeah. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, back back to the the, the wrestling career. Yeah. So. You, uh, we, could, we could do a whole episode uh, on Spider's gear making. Gear, yeah, oh yeah. my god! Yeah, no. Uh, you bad. started working I'm with. Like... So when I when I joined, you were uh, you were with Crusher Dugan and his like evil army, right? That was like the. Oh my god! Yeah, because uh, Crusher had to take over because Mayhem left, and then I was with with Crusher for a while, and then I was jo- joined up with 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 the Rat Pack. And I started. You I was like the right pa- with the rap pack. Yeah, but well, I was the leader. Was, yeah. I I was just I was the like the head person, and they were my 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 cronies. And <laughs> he was, I'm like, he was like Scarface. I don't, yeah, I, don't I was remember Scarface. That. Why don't yeah. I remember that? Because it, it wasn't it wasn't it didn't last that long. They just <sighs> put me on there for like two shows, and they just switched over. I was like, all right, like what do you have you guys want to do? It didn't matter to me. And like Crusher was just like trying to push me to like. Come on, man! Let Spider, that's perfect for Spider. They're like, no, no, we have other things for him. I was like, I was like, yo, Crush man, thanks a lot, man. Like, maybe the next time, like, hopefully down the road, you become a manager at another we call it other other upcoming events, man. But like, I love Crush man. Like he, like he, he used to talk to me and mess with me so much when I was in the ring. Stock, you know, man, because you, you throw me out and Crush you to grab me and just yep, he was the best. <laughs> always made the noise. I, I just, say it all the time, dude. Uh, you know, um, Crusher was probably, you know, will be the greatest manager I ever had. Uh, the only other person that comes close to it, uh, and I'm not just saying this because Damien's watching, is, is Veronica Foxy. Yeah. Um, Foxy but, was great too. But, but Crusher is, I mean, it's crazy because the three of us all got to work with him. It's nuts how many guys actually he worked with and helped. And yeah, man, man it, I, I, I loved, I loved every minute of the team of Matt, him managing yeah, me, dude. Me and my brother, man. Like till this day, I, I, I will tell anybody that ever says like, Hey, wh- who's your best manager? It was always crushing, man. He, he was top notch, man. So like, good. His mind for the business was just like, you know, That's amazing. He, he wouldn't, he wouldn't put his two cents in unless he thought, you know, you need it. But we'd always be like, "Hey, Crusher, what you think about this, man?" He's like, "Ah, right, you maybe you do this." I'm like, "All right, cool, cool, yeah." I and like he that. he he was one of those rare people in wrestling managers that wasn't trying to steal the. Yeah, he he, yeah. he highlighted you. He didn't need to be highlighted, mm-hmm. and that that was that's what made him honestly like I I he's one of boom exactly exactly yeah. the best man super yeah. super you know and the thing about Crusher John like I always told him I said, dude. Why don't you come on the road? And he was like, hey, I got a family, I got kids. He goes, I'm not this isn't about me anymore. And yeah. but if he if he would have you know gone out, I, I think he would have I don't think he would have got signed, but I think you people would be talking a lot more about him. He yeah. was so Yeah, if he if he would have went and worked more more of the indies and shit. Yeah, I think he definitely would have got he definitely would have got, got, got hired. He yeah, definitely would have yeah, I mean who you know who knows, but I mean take taken from us way too fucking early. Uh Literally, fucking every. It doesn't feel real still, um, but yeah. it's just crazy because like how many guys he actually like. I sit back and I'm like, holy fuck, he worked with Spider, he worked with the presidents, myself. I mean, it's a laundry list of guys that he worked with and helped. I mean, he helped me tremendously. I wouldn't be the guy wrestler I am today without his help. And so, yeah, and to this day, these the, some of the guys in WWE, I tell them all the time, like you have, like you missed out. Uh, a, a, we call a guy who knew his shit, man. 
inside and out, man. man. Yeah, like, yo, man. it's and I used to tell people like, yo, talk to Crusher, pick his brains. He got a lot of knowledge. You have no yeah. idea how much he has. And I used to love going when I used to go stop by and visit him at his house. He used to give me give me tapes of Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio and uh, Dynamite Kid. I still have them at my parents' house too. Like he gave me tapes, and I used to sit there and look. Dude, at I have like, some still. Oh, wait, I have so you mean to tell me you stole Crusher's tapes, bro? <laughs> no, he, he <laughs> gave them to me. <laughs> no, he gave them. To wait, me. hold on. I, well, I'll get to the stories about Spider <laughs> later, but no, man, I I got stuff too. He gave me so much old, uh, like early, early nineties, late eighties Japan, like just insane, dude. And yeah, I mean, I I yeah, never had. Wrong, Lou. Not, not yeah, Louis not Audrey, definitely yeah. another like, another nah. one. I, I, aside from right now, what I'm doing with Foxy, I have not had as much fun wrestling than I did working with Crusher. Like it was just, it was easy. It was second nature. It was fun. And when someone makes it like that for you and you could bounce off of them and it's just natural, it's the best. And he had that ability. He worked with so many guys and it's awesome. He was great, man. But, uh, but, then, really peace. but then, uh, so you kind of, you kind of transitioned from being like, a top guy to being like the mechanic of NYWC. Like you started working with all the new guys, the the, the, the pla- tri- plasma Tremperetta. Um, a bunch of young kids came up that time when Mikey Whipper came around. Guys like Mike Spinelli, nice. Tony Nice, nice. Well, uh, the Angus brothers, yeah. um, a, a kid named Stockade. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you became like, and not just on shows, you became like the guy at training too, man. Like you were, you were like not an official trainer, but you were definitely a guy that was like holding the hands and like, hey man, like try this move. Like you were, if anyone had a move that needed to be taught or learned or whatever, you were like the encyclopedia. It was, it's insane how you. Oh just my come god, up with shit. you're super creative. The best, the best was when when we were training, and and Crush it, you know, I it it, it it hit me in my heart. I I got emotional because Crusher was like tell me like you know what's funny Dean Malenko is the man with a thousand holds I think you gonna be the new guy with more than a thousand holds and it hit me so hard I sat there I look at Crush I was like come on man you bullshit man he's like 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 Joe I'm being honest with you right now he's like like so much knowledge you have in your head and it's amazing the shit you come up with and sitting there talking with Crusher he's like 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 you have you come up with these fucking moves I have never seen ever and you just sit there, you you stay in a corner, and you think, maybe that could work. Maybe I could do this or that. I'm like, oh, this would look sick if you do it this way. And Crusher just looked at me and was like, like you come up with so many fucking moves. And it's um, amazing. And the best is, like, some people always ask me, like, what's some cool moves that you have? I'm like, the one that I love the best was the ratnophobia, where, where I grab somebody's arms, lock them in a, a full Nelson, and grab their legs in a figure four while they have them in the air. And they're like, how the fuck you came up with that one? Like, yo, it, it would just stuff yeah, pops in my head that, that I ain't just got had. nothing on uh, Rockstar's Ethiopian, but yeah. You know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Louis <laughs> said he, he counted them. You only have 999. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, you were, like I said, man, like it was insane because. Like you, I, I don't know if you've ever realized it, or maybe it's just something you realized it later. But like, you really helped a lot of guys, dude. And I don't know if you, they, I, I know I've expressed it to you because we, we we got very close as friends. But yeah, dude, I mean, and me. even, even <laughs> I feel bad for. Him. <laughs> um, I tried becoming his friend to get free gear, it didn't work. But um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you, he was the original uh, Spanish friend that you could say so you can make Spanish jokes, right? You're like, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I got a Spanish friend. I had, yeah. uh, I had, I needed to fill my quota. You know how it is. Um, <laughs> but no, man, seriously, like you always help the new guys. Even if it was like you teamed with Manny Martinez, a young kid coming up. Benny, uh, bro, you, you worked with all these young guys. Like they, they put you in charge or gave you that um, permission or, or, or honor to work with the new guys and like, dude, you fucking, you were like, yeah, you were like literally the caretaker of like the new guys. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, that, that, is, that is not true. <laughs> cartwheel. I've, no, I've never, I've never actually done a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, oh my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's bad. You know how to you know how to swing a chair for the fuck's sakes. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know. Oh my yeah, god. Happens, bro. <laughs> Old nuke. But yeah, man. So like oh. how did that did it just like happen or did they talk to you or is it just like something that just kept happening? Or, or you just said fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I wanna work with some of these Yeah, like dudes. what what how Yeah, you know? no, I, I I said I wanted to work with some of the new guys. I was like they're like, why? Like, you, 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 we call it, you're a veteran. You should, you shouldn't be. I was like, no, it's not that. Like, just like, like giving, passing on knowledge to the, the younger guys, man. And it was just fun because usually some of the guys just naturally came to me and started talking to me, asked me questions, and just started training them and just teaching them cool stuff. Like, I, I love when Mikey used to come to some of the guys and like, like, oh, Mikey, you wanna go to Spider with the cool shit? I don't know that much. Yep. Spider knows all the cool yeah. shit. What's well, and, it, it, and, it's it's wild, dude, because, like, you were one of the most approachable senior guys, at least from when I first started. Like, you were always there, and you didn't, like, give off a vibe of, like, oh, I'm better than anybody or I'm, I'm a senior guy. You were super approachable, and, like, you were just chill. So I always appreciated that. Yeah, like, it, like I felt bad some of the guys who came into the school and, like, tried to, tried to learn and didn't pick up so quick. But I was trying to work with them, trying to help them out as much as I can. And, and the funny thing is, I should have been a trainer, and I should have got paid. But you know what? Like some of the other people ranked over me, or they thought they were better than me. I was like, I was like, all right, like, all that's what you think. Politics and that's and that's what you politics think. Politics and wrestling. Yeah, right? exactly. Politics, it's all. But but it, like it was it was all good to me. Like like you know what? Like I stay in the back. I stay in the shadows. So like when my day comes, my day will come. Till then, like it's, like it's all good. Like all the all the young guys that were coming up. I like. I was happy to see them where they w- moved on to. But, like a lot of guys nowadays, like just seeing Trent, just seeing Nice, just seeing like Matt, all uh, Brian. I, I like. I, like I'm happy where they are right now. But, like it's amazing. Like I, I'm proud every time I. I know I post a lot of shit on Facebook, and I'm like, I people are like, why are you marking out? I was like it's not marking out. It's just that I knew these guys where they were little kid when they were young teenage kids, and to wrestle with them in the ring and to see where they are right now, it's amazing. So oh, how, like, and just, how many how many moves did uh, Matt Stryker steal from you? Oh my God, Matt! <laughs> yo, I used to love seeing him, and he just sit in the back, and he just does this. Yeah, walks him. Sp- yep. hmm. Spider, let me see that move again. And I'm like, no, fuck that, Matt. I see what you're trying to do. It's like, <laughs> shit. Man, how do you do that? It's like, yeah, how you do that? Like, <laughs> what if you did it like this, and somebody else comes? I was like, no, Matt, I'm not doing it again. It was like, it was like shit. So like, all right, Spider. Like, I'll, I'll get you. Like, all right, next time, Matt. Next time. So, so did you um, did you ever branch out uh, and hit any outside indies, or did you really just stay local to NYWC? I branched out. I I went to SAT school for like okay. probably like two years. And what, what, is that the House of Glory? No, they had their own. What was the Lutus? I think it was called right. Okay, Lutus. Yeah, Lutus. Yeah. And I went there and for a little bit, and it was cool because I actually got to it was different, right? Different. Yeah, experience. it was way different, and like it felt like like a family because like nobody had issues, nobody had problems. Everybody wanted to work with me, and people would like tell me like, "Oh, Spider, go make you a heel." I was a heel, then people were cheering for me like, "Fuck, it would make you face." Never mind. And, and I used to laugh because they used to call me the Spanish Rock, and I'm like, "You guys are exaggerating right now. I am not that big." They're like, "No, no, we go." Like, that's fine. Like, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm like, all right. But, like, that's what you guys want to do. Fine. And it was great because I got to do, I got to wrestle with some of the guys. I got to wrestle with some of the people that was in TNA and now AEW. But, like, I, I was like, I told you, I was like, yo, that was cool. Thanks a lot, man. Like, I appreciate it. And, like, I just wanted to branch out. Like, like I went to Ace a couple of times and wrestled with, with Alvin and, and other people. And like I just wanted to experience other other things out there, but like I, I had to I had to grow and had to spread my wings and go to other companies to experience what's out there, and yeah. it was oh you just you just you didn't give a fucking left us. I'm like it wasn't like that. So I like know, I, like, I don't I know just, if you could see the comment uh, if you want to comment. <laughs> oh shit! Really want to know if you were there when Joel got shot. I, I was outside when I heard it. <laughs> I was inside when it happened. <laughs> So, so that's you heard the <laughs> Yeah, I heard that. I was like, oh, well, somebody didn't get paid. But like, all right, I guess not. 
man. But yeah, so um, well, we I, I, we have had uh, quite a few matches, you and I, and uh, what I guess one of the most famous or the most I guess I guess the one that really everyone knows was uh, Bundy and Santana. Oh my god! You want to tell man. a story about how that fucking debacle came about? Dude, man, Wasn't that the gimmick where y'all were playing with the oh, with the yeah, WWE that was, oh yeah. my god, yeah, hard, hard. that was I so bad. That. I oh. hated Quality. it so much, dude. Hated it. Quality. Hated it. St- Quality. Stock was stock was sitting there like this is so fucking bad. I said the same thing. I'm like, I can't believe we're doing this shit, man. I really don't want to do it. No, 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 my, like, mind you, I'm trying. You know, I, I got in the rest of thinking I'll be like, you know, the next Stan Hansen or something, and here I am, fucking. LJN's like a fucking mental patient. <laughs> like, wow, this is really working out well for me. I, I, I don't even know how many times we did promos. I just kept laughing because this was the dumbest shit ever I said in my head. And I was like, sitting like, oh my God, man. I, like, I, I don't know where the hell this came from. But like it you was, just it, it was shame. It was it was all shame. Thinking it's yeah. Up. Hey man, listen, man. He 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 had a vision, bro. Yeah. He had plenty of he those. Had a, well, he had a vision, but he picked the two people, two people that didn't like it. He should have picked with two retarded kids. That probably would have lot been on, a lot man. better. Come on, <laughs> you know, like I mean, one, I I was way too fucking green to even cut promo. Like it was, I mean, look, I mean, the match. Looking back on it, it was awesome that I got to work with those two guys in Spider. But like, yeah. yeah, the lead up to it, I was just like, this is. <laughs> I wanted to wrestle, oh, man. Oh um, my god, man! <laughs> Louis living out his only fantasy he has left. You know, for a guy yeah. that's got the shits, so you're commenting a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, probably because he's on the toilet. He's on the yeah, toilet. He's, he's on the toilet. Text <laughs> type it. Uh, but, yeah, at least he's watching. But yeah, man, I mean, that, that was a fun match. And then um, then you helped. I, I got to work you one more time when uh, I got my first real singles push. Uh, you were oh, the catalyst to that. We had, a really, we had a really good match that, like, fucking sold the show. And, uh, oh of my God! Go this crack. guy saying he stole this. No, le- 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 dude, le- I'm being honest, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was. I, 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 anytime I was in the ring with Stock, man, I always had fun, man. Like, I, yeah, what, some imagine, guys, man. like some of the guys, like got tight about doing moves, and I'm like, like, Leo, let's just go have fun, man. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, like we want to go have a good show. After that, go to the bar and just eat and drink and have a good time, man. Yeah, Long Island, oh, Long Island iced teas. Two first. Oh my god, two, two first. first. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, that was the uh, best. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a shitty drive home half the time. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no. Why didn't drive? Took the train. Oh, yeah, exactly. It took the train. Or somebody dropped me off home. One of the green guys. So they're like, "Yo, can you drop me off?" Yeah, yeah, sure, Spider. Thank you. They're like, "No problem at all." But but a uh, uh, rider uh, like uh, going with you, uh, who was it? it? Was you Boogie and Guapo, and I'm like in the car dying laughing because I never knew how much a we call of a big country western oh, Guapo. <laughs> Guapo was. Oh, he started God. playing country music. I was like, what the fuck is this? And you started laughing <laughs> like Spider. You never been with us, huh? I was like. Yeah, Guapo, I, Guapo with that country music, bro. That motherfucking drum is crazy with that shit. I'm like, come on, bro. That's good music right there, don't bro. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. That's some good music. Don't, don't want to hear that shit. And then the, the, the best was, you put on some reggaeton, and he's like... Yeah, yeah like, what the hell? You get, like, you get mad with reggaeton, but you just... What the- I will not stand for the mass of country music on oh, this podcast. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god. I love the road trips. They're so, the best. I so swear. B- besides um wrestling for the SAT school, did you ever get to really go anywhere else? Did the NYWC ever uh send you out for any of them fucking darks or like no. extra work or nothing like that? No. The funny thing is that, like, I used to, I used to get, I, I gave him info. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know, right? Like, <laughs> and, <laughs> but like, hey, I, are, I used are to you laugh. a Hall of Famer yet? Nope. Oh, there we Not go. I, see, he, he I'm does. noticing a pattern here, though. Uh huh. I don't see no brown. You know, only, brown only brown person, person I saw was it was Mega, Mega Man. Man. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and he's been in 17 times because uh, he gets the participation. Well, company. look, man, when you buy a tag belt, you know, they got to give yeah. it to you. Oh, yeah, they got to give it to you. Well, like, here you go, it, man. So there you go. He, you, bought a t- you bought a belt. Got, Why not? He's got they sweat get, equity. Fucking, uh, participation <laughs> trophies, too. 
So, yeah. you know. Oh, man. <laughs> That's wrong. You're like, hey, Mega. man, we, we, we love you, Mega. Mega's got <laughs> sweat equity invested in that IWC. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, oh my God. No, like, man, real, real talk about the Hall of Fame. Guys like you. Uh, Barry, Dicky. I mean, there's a lot. Wait, Barry ain't in either. Barry ain't in either. No, no. Barry's on. Hold on, wait. I, I, I know we. I, I shipped a bad one. We interviewed Dan Barry because uh, I had the Yankee game on, and it was a big game. So you know, I, I, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I told and I told him. I said, bro, I'm sorry, man. I'm. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh hey, thanks God. a lot, bro. <laughs> but. Like, does he have heat too with them, or I don't? I don't no, think so. I, I don't listen, think the only so. one that has heat with that fucking the, place the, is me. You're the only. Person. All right, I'm the yeah, fucking. I, I'm the yeah, fucking the Darth Vader. But you know what? Hey, uh, uh, and I wear it like a badge of fucking honor. <laughs> oh my god, man! <laughs> Jesus I, Christ! Uh, Spagger, do you still keep in touch with those dudes? You do any shows with them or no? Yeah, I I I, I I I keep in touch with them here and there. Like I. I talk like I I come down to the show a couple of times and I see Shane and some of the other people that are down there and I talk to some of the guys and like like a lot of like I'm happy that they're doing a lot better now than because usually every time Psycho Circus is on after Psycho Circus the fucking crowd dies out every year and now when I was talking to some of the guys they told me that it picked up right after Psycho Circus okay. and I was like well, that's like good, that's man. great. But like, cause usually like everything goes down and everything slows down. Like, cause come on, think about it. Summer's around the corner. Nobody's gonna want to go see shows and stuff, and everybody wants to go on vacation, just hang out, do whatever, man. But they actually were doing a lot, uh, uh, really good, and I'm happy for them guys. A lot of the guys on there like had some good matches. But like a lot. I, I just hope some of these guys that stay nice and healthy and and keep fit. Yeah, it's not easy though, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, hey, so, so not me, easy. before we start, we're we're hitting this hour mark. But uh, before we start wrapping up, what's your craziest story that you have of like the locker room experience? Either, well, obviously you were there when Joel got shot. Unfortunately, you weren't oh in, the, in the in the premise. You were outside. But uh, what's the craziest story you have for us, man? Oh my God! No, I don't think be scared, you... man. Fucking throw no, motherfuckers, throw, uh, throw somebody under the bus, bro. <laughs> I, I I think one of one of the crazy thing is hanging out with you. With me? Was yeah. Oh, shit, here we go. Now you got to throw me under the bus. Yeah, no, we no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, you, yo, we we. I think this was the night that we all your bachelor party. Oh, oh no! Come on, oh, come on. yo, no. I, yo, I love you guys, man. I swear to God, that oh, night was the God. best night that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I, I can't say nothing bad, but, like, that, like that, that was night was. That was a fun time. Yeah, that was, that was a fun time. Like, anytime I would, like, with you, Sinks Boogie. Were breaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Broke. Sinks broke. Yeah. Stuff got lost. I saw lube on the floor all over the place. <laughs> <What the? laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> L- lube. Yep. People losing parts. <laughs> oh man, man, that was a crazy, crazy time, man. Crazy time. But, but like, I like, I yeah, love. You know like, what, man? I, that, I, that was that was an experience, man. Like, it was definitely. A, oh my a god! Interesting. Uh, what about interesting uh? Time. What What about bowling with the Angus brothers and Spinelli? Oh my bowling. god! I am the, yeah. We, These guys we, almost got us kicked out because we, they went from bowling? flying into the Wait, they went oh, flying into the fucking lake. You, 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 you gotta tell it right. So, <laughs> so Spinelli somehow this was not my idea. Somehow this <laughs> somehow it's myself, the Angus brothers, Spinelli, it's five of us, and Spider, and somebody we're, extracurriculars were happening. Uh, not myself and Spider weren't really partaking, but one of these idiots were like, "Let's go bowling." So Spinelli's all ganked up on fucking God knows PCP or heroin oh or whatever my the God. fuck he's on. Who the fuck knows? The Angus brothers are fucking, you know, they, they took two Flintstone vitamins and they're high as a kite. <laughs> and uh, so we're, we're fucking bowling, dude. This is exactly what I want to do on my Saturday night is fucking bowl with four other grown fucking adults. It's Mr. Fu- this guy over here, Kingpin, 
breaks his own fucking ball. I was gonna say, oh, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> did he have like a fucking oh, yeah. button, a custom button down? He's all, he's all serious and he's got his ball. What the fuck? He's like Al Bundy. Up. Yeah, dude, he's got the cowlick like Bill Murray, his hair sticking up and shit. So oh, we're bowling, God. right? Now you got Danny, <laughs> you got Danny Angus. Danny Angus was the one with the crooked ass fucking cross on his chest. It looked like a three year old doodled on his chest with a tattoo gun. Oh my! I, God. I remember one had like a little mini fro, and the other that one was had Billy. Like, Billy. Yeah, was the, that was Billy. Billy. Billy was the young one. So uh, Billy I, I don't didn't really remember. Billy didn't do anything. So anyway, we're bowling. Fucking Al Bundy over here is hitting strikes. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? He's like, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Spinelli and. Uh, the 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 fathead Angus start doing fucking spots on not oh, on the bowling alley but God. like on the platform where you walk down the alley. Yeah. They're doing tackle drop that leapfrogs, just suplexing each other. <laughs> Fighters just like what the fuck. Spinelli comes, grabs a bowling ball, does the fucking Sandman fucking cane pose, whips this ball down the uh, the lane, gets a strike. He's like, that's how you fucking do it. Looks at the family next to us. There's a mom and dad and their son. He goes, that's how you fucking bowl. I'm going, this motherfucker. He goes, what? He goes, what? Man, you didn't see that strike? I'm like, yeah, dude. That was a great strike. As the fucking six-year-old's about to bowl. He bowled the ball down the lane of the six-year-old. Got a strike. And was at, this kid's holding the ball. The father's grilling us. And I'm like, great, we're gonna we're gonna get into a fist fight. We're gonna oh fight my god! Like, great, I'm gonna have to beat oh up. My a, god. I'm gonna have to beat this dude up in front yep. of a six year old. Oh son. And my spiders, god! And Spider's just like, all right, that's a fucking okay. Uh, and then another time with this Spider's motherfucker, Spider's like, let me polish my ball before I. Yeah, uh, yeah, that'll. So it's myself, Spider. Oh, this is awesome. Benny Martinez, Wagner, and Bruno. And we're driving oh in spider scooter. Bro, we don't talk about Bruno. We don't. Oh, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> we're, we're driving in Spider's Scooby Doo, <laughs> Scooby Doo fucking van. We're going to Bandito oh Jr.'s my God. pops place. Oh, you guys almost got me in trouble with that shit. You guys are nuts. Oh, so my God. I remember this. We we have Wagner open the, the sliding door in the van. He's <sighs> sticking his ass out. I, I'm in the back seat, and I'm going through all Spider's shit. This motherfucker has all the Mortis gear from Canyon, who died like a month ago still. The belt, the mask. He's probably still got it hanging up somewhere. Look, he's looking I for it right now. It. Wait, yeah, legit Mortis gear? Legit yeah. Mortis gear. Yeah. How the belt. Did he That's... Got his gear. Because he... he gave it to me after the show. Yeah. What? He was like, he yeah. Awesome, no, he bro. made Mortis gear, and the motherfucker, Candy didn't have long hair. So Yin Yang sewed a fucking wig on it, and the fucking wig came flying off during the match. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and then, and then the best, like, I was like, sitting there. The, the worst thing about it, like, I'm thinking about it now, I was like, shit, this damn and part he was. Died. A, he died two weeks later. He died. Oh, <laughs> and, goodness. and the horrible thing is on Dark Side of the Ring, and I'm sitting there like, oh, shit, oh, we were on that really? show. Yeah, they were talking about it on the Dark Side of the they Ring about about Canyon. His fucking wig yeah. fell off his last match. And, 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 and he said he was so upset, oh. and we're like, I was like, I talked to him that day, and I'm like, no, it's all good, man. Like, they're not laughing at you. They're laughing at Jason. Like, no, bro. No, no. I'm like, oh, shit. What the fuck is oh, going dude. on, man? Oh, dude, that was mother- so this scary, man. This came into NYWC. They beat him up. They threw him in the mud. They wrestled. He got gear made, and the fucking wig fell off, and then he died oh, like two weeks God. later. Bro, it's the worst, oh, funniest man. thing in the world. I, I still I still got his belt. That's the crazy shit about it. I'm like sitting every time I have it, I'm like, damn. Like, Yo, Kenya so was bad. Kenya was fucking innovative, dude. Man. He was that the man, was bro. Creative, he, just, he was. That that fucking Canyon gear, the Mortis gimmick was fucking awesome. Yeah, that, that was shit was great. One Spider's of the coolest all. gimmicks of all time. When you when, no, you, see, like, when you see someone trick or treating, it except, shows except up. Mortis for is fucking. Back. Motherfuckers losing his wig piece, huh? bro. That oh my that god, wig, that, that wig falling off, dude. I'm not that gonna is... lie, bro. It was it was, it, it was fucking the, spider. The boys, dude. I was in tears. It was it was I, bad, like, dude. I, I tried to like it was so funny when you brought it because I sat there. I told him like like I can't glue this on. I can't. But I could sew it a little bit just to fit it on top of you. He was like like it'll be great. Don't worry about it. I'm like, are you sure, Canyon? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like yeah, Kane, so, Kane, Kane's fine. For how it's long, fine. Bro? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be great. Uh, I'm like, all right, put it on. And it came right off. And I'm like, oh, so, shit. So let, let, one more question before we wrap this shit up, man. 
who's probably who would you say is probably the most famous person you made gear for? Most famous. Oh my god. Honestly, said, where was that show at? Most it was NYWC. NYWC. I think it was a circus. It was at the yeah, it was a circus. Wow, that's crazy. You know, yeah. and that says it's a great show. Thank Boogaloo, you. Boogaloo would have been there if he didn't walk out because he didn't want to bleed from glass, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. It was sugar glass, man. Yeah, it's sugar oh glass. Oh my god. It, it won't, it's gonna break. <laughs> Fuck that. Fucking not oh my head. god. Not Scar so... ripped oh, a hole Lord. in his tattoo. Oh, Louis said he was there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah, was, he was um, there. But so, who who would you say is probably the most famous person? I, I, obviously, I know you made gear for uh, Cardona, but you know, yeah. that might be that might be now, right? But back in the day, who would you say was probably what would have been Mortis or Mortis uh, and Mikey? Those were that's like it, the two. and uh, and Matt. That's 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 it. Because I was happy because Matt wore the Ultimate Warrior outfit I made for him, and they made a toy from it. Bro. And I was like, oh, shit, that's cool. You, you should have been like, yo, I want some royalties. You yes. know, you should have did is you, you see I these know. motherfuckers, these, uh, um, oh, fuck, what, what the fuck is, uh, the, the dude, the tattoo artist, man. They got oh, tattoo the artists. Shit with or- got, oh, 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 shit. I forgot his fucking name. Yeah, Randy Orton's about tattoo artist is suing WWE video games. For I think he won. Years. Did he really? I think. Yeah, yeah, and and, the, yeah, and yeah. the dude that did Carlos Condit's tattoo sued the UFC and THQ back in the day for for his rib tattoo being in oh, the video game. Oh shit! Did, you made Shelton Benjamin's gear too? Nah, Shelton, nah, I never made it. Fuck you, talking shit, about I, I know where the hell that come from, Shelton here. Benjamin. What the fuck? <laughs> unless, uh, unless he's talking about Young Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Young, uh, I doubt it. Young Shelton had a sing. He had, he was wearing singlets when he started out. I never nah, see him wear like talking about the TV show, bro. Come on, man. Oh, oh, know. yo, dude. <laughs> I gotta say one thing. You guys, I remember I wrestled you guys at USA Pro, and I Us? swear to God, yeah, it was a four way tag team. Oh, at good. he's probably with Burma. <laughs> you were with Burma, right? Burma and Vinny. At, yeah, I was yeah, with Burma you? and Vinny. Yeah, and the best was. Rob Fury, you were in that up. match? Yeah, man. I <laughs> See, you don't remember, remember you in that match, yo, bro. You, yo, the best was Guabo got Louis mad. Said, Louis said that you made the kick pad covers for yeah. Shelton. For Shelton, you made kick pad covers for Shelton Benjamin. Probably, I don't remember. You know how many? You know how long it been since I made gear? It's been a while, man. But um, yeah, bro. That that day, like, bro. <sighs> That that was like a, a shit show from oh uh, god between Nuke getting a shit busted right oh, <laughs> by Guapo by Guapo kicking him in the face that and then Guapo beat the hell out of Rob Fury when he did the four fifty land on his well, head no At- he landed on Louis he he it was on Louis it was Louis oh it was a Louis he, he, oh he did my the stand god four fifty one foot went into Louis face the other one went into Louis Jeez. nuts. And then he went to get. And then and he went to get the belt. Up. Yeah, Louis stood up and took his belt off. He, he <laughs> <laughs> took his belt off and started whipping buddy. Fuck. And the best. Yo, the best. He was holding onto the ring. Yeah, but he was trying to roll out the ring, right? So me and Guapo go out there, out, out the ring, and grab his ass. So we go throw his ass back in the ring, and my man wasn't going. Yo, he was. He grabbed onto the apron. Wow. Grabbed onto the ring post. He's like, "Please, man, please, no." I'm like. <laughs> And me and Guapo like get the fuck back in the ring, bro. Like you fucked up. My brother told him beforehand. Yo, have you done it? Yeah, man, I do it all the time. <laughs> no, nope. bro, nope. he landed one foot right here, the other one right on Louis' nuts. Well, we're being a bully, Louis, just Louis, beating oh up the new guys. Yo, I remember like Louis. Louis. Louis was like stood right up, straight fucking formed and ragging his shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> I remember Jimmy and Havoc. Papa Don and Havoc was sitting there looking like, bro. Uh, you, you know what up. the crazy shit was? Was after that match finished, the dude's family wanted to fight Louie. So like, yo, they were trying here. to go into the locker room to try and fight Louie. Oh, wow. So my brother goes, somebody's like, "Hey man, these guys want." So my brother's like, "Hey, t- 
Tell him I'll be outside in a couple minutes. Let me finish changing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Lou is like, I'm gonna fuck, man. Let's like, fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, hell yeah, that, man. Yo, that show, I swear to God, when when I wrestled at the USA Pro, Bro, I, I didn't like, know that you were on that fucking match. Why don't I remember yeah, you? Yeah, man. Well, man. Oh, so you I, probably one of the ones that took 45 minutes in the opening spot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it was. Spider. <laughs> But, but yeah, man. Goddamn spider. But, we <laughs> but yeah, let's you, wrap man. this up, man. Yeah, Listen, where, where, can, where can people find you if they're trying to get gear made or just want to reach out and say what's up? You know. Um, if anything, just hit me up on Facebook, Joe Sayo, or uh, Instagram. Right or, uh, like, hey, man, I see you on. Or you got- see you on a podcast. <laughs> or you guys can hit me up too, like on Instagram, like a uh, spider fan page. Oh, like, uh, like I have all my stuff there, and it's, okay, it's not nothing private. You could go right into into my pictures. Yeah, and go see in all there, check out the have. fucking gear he made. Check out, um, you know, this this dude, man, he's fucking talented. So yeah, if definitely. y'all haven't, if y'all don't know Spider, and you haven't seen whether it's his gear, his fucking in ring talent, you know, dude's talented, man. Sh- shout out to Spider, man. I got, I got. You know, I I couldn't. I don't remember ever working you, but I guess you were in that match. I mean, we probably no. Really I, get to do shit. I no. I did work you guys. Did Boogie you? Boogie always was like sitting like no, just just the just you stay outside. Give us who, who's in your tag partner. And I'm like no, I can't do that. Like no, no, just fuck that. Just oh, don't worry about we, it. Because we wanted to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> like, like <laughs> we got him. And then every time when I got in the ring, Boogie was like, stay the fuck out. What are you trying to get in for? I was like, yo, I'm part of the match. He's like, no, nah, bro. Like, we have you. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, like, like I want to get the match. I don't want to kick your ass. <laughs> no, we like you. You're one of us. You're part of the brown crew. Don't worry about it. You're good, man. You're just, we got you're just you. Just a light brown. <laughs> Listen, man. Hey, but we'll make sure you. y'all reach out to Spider Man. We Absolutely, really appreciate yeah. you coming on, man. And we'll we'll definitely get you back on, brother. We'll get. We got. Are, you, are you still doing anything? Any wrestling at all, or nah? You still training? No, nah, I'm just uh, I'm just taking a break. Um, the only thing I've been doing is just like going back in the gym, working out. Okay. Hopefully, I'll get back and do a couple of shows and stuff. But like it's just like yo, cult for. When I had, when I was out for COVID like two years, man, man, I just like I was like down depressed for a little bit, and that shit ain't no after my, man. yeah, and then my dad passed away too, and just like a oh, lot man, of shit, I'm sorry just to hear that, bro. yeah, thanks a lot, man. Like it just like I try to like, but thank God, my wife and my son came into our life, and just like he just helped out like a big big time, man. Yeah, my big da- I, 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 yeah. My dad, uh, my my son. I always like everyone tells me like my son is like a reincarnation of my dad, and it's so funny because he does little things my dad used to do, and it just uplifts me, makes me feel a lot better. So at least I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have that in my life. Well, hey, man. I'm, I'm happy for you. Congratulations with the kid. What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well, we well, haven't even been drinking, man. Shit, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> Bro, he's been drinking oh, yeah. stuff, oh, man. That's shit, all it does. Damn. But uh, we'll definitely get you back on, man. We'll definitely get <laughs> yeah, you back man. on. Yeah, man. This is yeah, definitely please, man. fun, man. Yeah, my, pa- my brother says that uh, your dad was a great man, dude. But Thank yeah, you. Man, I, yo, man. I appreciate that from you guys, man. Yeah, you're probably, you guys, like... I, I remember meeting your pops and stuff, man. So, you know, I'm yeah. sorry sorry for your loss, man. And, you know. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you Absolutely. so much, guys. No, oh, thank but, you for coming on, dude. Thank you for Thank coming you, on, man. bro. And uh, you know, we, we'll hit you up, man. Keep in touch, obviously. You know, yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, this is fun, man. I appreciate you guys. You got man. it, man. Absolutely. Hey, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and do one day. We'll we'll try and do like a NYWC reunion show. We'll get like a bunch of motherfuckers that we did oh shows with. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe oh, Dan Barry, be... you. Fucking, oh lord. Um, that might be pretty, that, pretty entertaining. We, and some of the get, road trips we used to go on and shit. They're like, that'd be great. We get, we about get a cider up in here, you know. <laughs> Let's pay these bills, bro. You got it. Sleeves. Sleeves offer great, great quality products from arm sleeves, knee sleeves, headbands, tights, joggers, and socks. They got them dirty boxers, too. If you or someone in your life is an athlete, then Sleeves is the product you definitely need to check out, man. So check out Sleeves.com. Don't forget to use that promo code MWAPOD to get your discount. And HealthVape.com. HealthVape sells healthy vaping alternatives. All their products have no nicotine, no harmful or addictive chemicals, and they're vitamin infused. 
Make sure you pick yourself up some of their vapor pod products using our code MWA Pod for that ten percent discount. And uh, yeah, man, make sure y'all check out the other shows on uh, the MWA Podcast Network. We have shooting the shit uncensored. We got killing the business tomorrow with uh, King Pen Angel and the King Mega, and um, oh the uh, MWA Roundup. I mean NXT, NXT. Roundup. NXT Roundup. And uh, if you want to, if you're into sports, check out Noel's Bar Sports Show on Tuesday nights where you'll catch me, Mega, and uh, Kenny the Bounty Hunter. So, um, yeah, you know, check it out. Just give us Later. that like. See y'all next week. I don't know who we got next week yet, but we'll we'll get somebody. We'll get there. Yeah. Y'all be safe. Thank Later, you all guys. for tuning in.